I've got five reasons you should be self-publishing on Amazon KDP in today's video. Stay tuned. What's happening? It's Dale here and make sure you stick around to the very end because I'm actually going to give you some practical steps in publishing your first book or third book or fourth book and so on. Here are five reasons you should be self-publishing on Amazon KDP. Number one, the path of least resistance. Amazon is the big dog in the self-publishing arena. They have the vast majority of global publication profits online, so it would make sense that you would align yourself with them, at least starting out. And the thing is, between, say, my channel and numerous other avenues on YouTube and podcasts and even on Amazon's own website, there's enough information to get you going and starting right away. So as long as you've got the manuscript and you've got the willingness to sit down and learn the system, you'll be able to get on to Amazon KDP with zero issues. Number two, print and ebook distribution. You're going out to roughly about a dozen different websites with your ebook and a little less than that when you're distributing with your print book. But that's not to say that there isn't global reach. You're able to get your book out into as many hands as you can possibly imagine. And the next reason is one of the reasons why I think it's another exemplary reason for you to actually jump in to Amazon KDP head first. Number three, decent royalty structure. Okay, so eBooks, you get about roughly 70% royalty. So that means that you get 70 cents out of every dollar for a sale of your ebook on the Amazon platform. And then for your print books, you get about 60% minus the print fees. So sometimes it can work right about 35 to 50%, but that's not too bad. The exceptions to the rule include, of course, 35% for ebooks when it's outside their preferred pricing range. So if you go outside of $2.99 to $9.99, uh, it will be 35%. They want you to price your eBooks between that. Otherwise, it's 35%. And then if you want to get expanded distribution of your print book, that means going out to various other avenues by way of Ingram Content Group, you're gonna land in places like walmart.com and Target and so on and so forth. That's 40% minus any of the print fees. Now, you're not obligated to have to actually go through expanded distribution. You can actually leave that blank, and if you want to, you can go directly over to Ingram Spark. Number four, native advertising. If you publish onto Amazon elsewhere, fantastic. Nothing wrong with that. The problem is you lose out on Amazon advertising. Being able to natively advertise over on the Amazon platform sets you up at a greater advantage than those that don't have it or use it. Number five, highly accessible. Amazon KDP can be accessible to just about any region you can think of. Now, if you're outside of the normal regions, so for instance, US, UK, Canada, Australia, some other areas, uh, that's okay. They tend to work around whatever you have it's just going to be tough getting the tax information dialed in and getting some way that you can get your funds by way of check or they say through wire transfer for banks. Uh, so it's, it's a little difficult at first if you're outside the regions, but the nice thing is Amazon KDP wants to work with all authors in all regions. Hey, I told you I was gonna give you some practical steps on how to self-publish a book. In fact, I got a full video series right over here. And I'm going to start you out at the very beginning and work you up to more advanced steps. And if you've already seen this playlist right here, come on over and check out this other video. YouTube says you should check it out. You choose. Which one will you choose? Hmm? 